We'd been on the hunt for some fun furniture to flip when we stumbled upon this estate sale. Once we got inside, we could see there were just rows and rows of furniture and items, old vintage pieces. Absolutely love this one, but not so much the $700 price tag. We just weren't having very much luck looking for cute furniture. It was mostly old plates, dinnerware, clothes, even some vintage shoes. Then we finally stumbled upon it. It was just hidden. This mid-century dresser was just $40, and it was pretty decent condition. Then we just had to wait in another line to pay for it. <laughs> we finally got it home and ready to work on. It is in good condition, but there are some nicks and scuffs, so we've got a design plan. We'll be using some Amy Howard products. This is Clean Slate. We'll be using it to clean it off before painting. We have two paints we'll be using, the One Step Paint in Barn Board, a nice neutral creamy color, and Cartouche in the One Hour Miracle Paint. Cartouche is more of a light green color. No top coat needed. And even though we don't need a top coat, we do use the tonic. It just revives the wood and it helps protect it. And to add another little artistic touch, we'll be adding this botanical transfer, also from Amy Howard. There was an interesting varnish that was stuck on top, so we started by using a carbide scraper to scrape off the initial layer. Next, we went in with the orbital sander using 120 grit. We did that all over the top and then also went back over it one more time to make it smoother with a 220 grit. The lacquer came off much easier with a carbide scraper on the sides. We took our time and were very thorough to get all the excess off. As you can see here, all of the extra just flaked off at the bottom. Before painting, you always want to clean off and degrease, so we used Clean Slate, which works very quickly. We love a good whitewash, so we are going to whitewash this portion with barn board paint. It's going to look awesome, and then we are also going to whitewash the drawers as well. Here's a closer look at that barn board in the one step paint. No top coat or primer needed. We are going to whitewash with the um, barn board paint mixed with water. We used about 50. Uh, probably like 70% water. Um, we want it pretty watery for the look we're going for. So the whitewash is going to get rid of this, some of the red undertone as well as the blotchiness. Um, and that's exactly what we want. So we are going to get started with that. You gotta have your mister, towel ready, and your wash. You can paint any way with a whitewash as you will be wiping it off, but we do find that going with the grain does help to remove some blemishes and to make it less streaky. We find the same goes for wiping off. We generally try to stay with the grain. The first time isn't always enough times. It can still be a little bit blotchy, so we actually did two more layers of this. This is the finished result with the whitewashing on the drawers. They look so nice and it really brings out the wood grain. So we are doing a dipped look on this piece. So I'm gonna get to taping and then we will start painting. So we've got the tape on here and you can see that above we will be leaving. You will be able to see the whitewash and below we'll be painting. So we're ready to start painting and we are using the One Hour Miracle Paint in Cartouche. It's a beautiful, beautiful green. It's so pretty, so light and fresh. We can't wait. The color itself is gorgeous, but what we love the most about the One Hour Miracle is the coverage. We, in less than two coats, this was completely covered and no top coat needed, no primer needed. Wonderful product. We used a roller from Amy Howard and rolled on the sides. We also did the front and the legs as well in the same color. It rolled on super smooth, so we barely needed to sand between layers. We removed the tape and you can see a nice fresh line. The cartouche color just blends in so well with the beautiful natural wood. We also like that you can still see the wood grain peeking through.
So next we wanted to add a really cute fun detail on the side of the drawers, like a little peekaboo uh, transfer. And we got this really, really cute transfer um, from Adra Amy Howard. It's this beautiful, beautiful leaf botanical look. So we're excited to try this too. We kept playing with it and cutting it to size to make sure it would fit well. Once you're ready for placement, you can go ahead and peel off the back of the transfer. And extra carefully lay it down where you want it to be and press down very firmly in all areas. Just to make sure it wouldn't slip, we like to tape the edges. You can see that we used a ruler to press down firmly on all parts of it, but we also could use a credit card or you can also use a plastic scraper if you have one on hand. Don't be afraid to get pretty firm with it. They are user friendly, but you wanna make sure to get each piece of it very carefully so all of it comes off at once. The nice thing about these Amy Howard transfers is that as you're rubbing and the plastic starts to, the plastic film starts to look kind of dull, that's a good indicator that you have rubbed enough and it is ready to pull off. So after removing the tape and scraping the top part, we could pull it back and see how it looks. Both sides turned out so well, so I would definitely be using those again in the future. Very user friendly. Lastly, before we stage, we are going to add the Amy Howard Furniture Tonic to our piece, and basically it's going to add some warmth and protection. So we will do that and then get this staged and it'll be all done. We love how the Amy Howard website puts it that Furniture tonic is essentially just furniture food. Um, it's hemp-based, it's natural, it's low VOCs. We're really big on that, trying to keep low chemicals in our houses. And it's a water-resistant barrier, so it's going to be helpful when you have something sitting on top of it or protect just for overall long-term wear. We always say that prepping a piece is the most important, but the final step is also super important. We made sure to be very thorough about our sealants that are going to protect this piece to make sure it lasts a really long time. We even made sure to do the inside of each drawer as well. You can see the dramatic color change here, and that color stays that vibrant for quite a long time. It does not just dry and go away. The very last step to selling the piece is staging it and taking some pictures. We always try to find accent pieces that are small and don't take away from the piece and always make sure that there's some sort of greenery to make it feel really fresh and clean. And this is the final product. We personally love how the colors turned out and we love how the wood blends so well with it. Just absolutely love how that wood grain pops on the top drawers. Not to mention how well the color goes with these transfers that we added to the top drawers. We hope you like it as much as we do. Let us know what you think in the comments and follow us for more one part flips and tips.